too far out here. No idea what he was doing, but gonna he's probably going to give up the kill here. There's a void available from Night Stalker. He ended up holding on to it. But Vorst does take the kill. With the poison twist. Seal Kids have a very off night. Uh, I wasn't particularly impressed with one of his performance communication, perhaps. Mid lane. He needs the uh, magic missiles, then flying up for the power shot. That was all that was required. So, and uh, this is something too where, like, Irin was coming, he had an Observer Ward, which is watching that. Oh, bottom art style! Heroes. He actually does die to that one. The uh, surprise Shadow Wave comes out. He didn't expect that one, really thought he was going to be able to kill Hanskin. A bit optimistic by him, though. Night Stalker is such a naturally tanky hero that it was far behind in experience. This is the problem with rotating Seal Speed to bottom lane. Axe, there's no creeps to deny himself, too, so Art Style, just one more attack. Only one more attack. The Icarus Dive is up, though. And uh, Phoenix just dive it down, throw a spirit. He's running for the mod golems, and the mod golems. Okay, they're not going to get the attack in at the right time. Our style will be able to claim it. So it goes three two now on the board. Yeah, I, I avoid it. You should not let the Phoenix in one v one scenarios. It's an echo on the bottom lane. It's going to be caught. Free pick off there. Yeah, there's no way to stop that. When you get the void, you get an instant line strike array following up after that. And a point blank range nine stalker. Hello, Culling Blade. There's your one v one. Big pick off. Yeah, Axe able to get the upper hand up against Funic. That I don't think that should happen. A missed shackle shot though. He doesn't have a jump away, however. So all these fries are still doing their work. And then he's gonna level four power shot. And Hero actually stopped oh, doing that. Hero, why? He actually stopped moving to try and let that attack off. We had the spider on there, and then with a follow-up shackle into the Nova, this is gonna allow the Phoenix to come back up. And Dandy, uh, he wants to give a bit of a hand, but it's not gonna happen. Awkward plays all get around. The egg off. Uh, bottom lane, uh, Sineko does get a bit low, but I don't think Limp can catch up. No, he doesn't have the mana for it. They pass off a potion onto uh, the Ventral Spirit as well. The same. Because you, you've, you've got to really synergize. You've got to work close, really tight together when you run this Enchantress VS combo. Yeah, and I, I would say that like if, if Navi walk away with the 2-0 victory, I don't want anybody to like be raising the flags early and be like, oh my god, Navi, you're back or anything, because essentially they ran the same strategy and won within two games. You know, it's it, it's questionable whether or not that strategy is still going to be viable once teams have seen it and they're like, oh, they're running this, well, here's how we're going to counter it. It seems like Nip just didn't really read how to counter it. That shackle still able to latch, even though Jonas tried to avoid it. Good He's going to get sprited up. Uh, no, there's no more time. He realized how much damage. Oh, hey! Okay, well, he can end up just killing off the Phoenix, and uh, Fadik makes it a one-for-one -one trade up while out down the bottom lane. There was already a Shallow Grave used previously here with a power shot from Ooh. Dandy. He is really just moving everywhere. Havorce needs Dyer's one attack to kill off the Dazzle, which means he needs vision. Now it's going to have to be two. Lion Strike away from Limp, buying him the Space Seal Kit back behind the tower. The power shot from Dandy carves him in two. Oh, Limp, way too Why far he forward. Arstar's already here. You can slow him down, shackle it up. And then one more attack. Dandy's going to give himself a double kill on this off lane. The Arstar army has to move over and help him out, though. With the Santa Blast, in fact, it is going to be... Uh, no, okay. There's not going to be another follow-up. I thought they might have been Dandy with the Shackle, here. but he's not going to do it. Now the dive in. Nova is available here from Funnick. He's going to let it rip. Nice Stalker, another power shot from Dandy. He's done so much damage in the Axe. Slow down by the Viper. but the Shallow Grave will protect him, but unfortunately at all the wrong times. Dandy is buying himself some space. He knows he's almost in Culling Blade range, but not quite. Here is able to jump himself away to safety. Seal Kid may not be so lucky. Magic Missile's off cooldown in a moment. In fact, Seal Kid's going to turn. And rightly wow. so, because Limp has arrived, but the slave's too far off target. The rest of Navi's moving back down, including Arstyle. No sprites available, but the power shot again from Dendi, hitting the mark over on top of Limp. The TP in from Hanskin needs to come and help out the rest of his team. Arstyle, now the sprites will be triggered, so he'll come up nicely in the life points. While uh, Funic throwing out every single sprite he's got, making sure this physical damage cannot be inflicted, but the magical should be more than enough. There's no mana for that Laguna Blade, but the Urn Charge will do the work for the Night Stalker. After already, Lena came in with those stuns. Eventual Spirit keeps the fight going. Night Stalker trying to retreat out. Avort the Viper Strike, slowing down the Night Stalker. There is again the Shallow Grave to give him that level of protection. Avort, one more attack would do the job. Or the Corrosive Skin, actually. He shouldn't have turned around to do that attack because it's a refresh the Corrosive Skin. But Era, he looks for the opening over on Na'Vi. 
jumps up, already brought down the Vengeful Spirit. Now it's the Vorse who's in trouble, being blocked up by the Nice Orc Illusions, buying some time up against Alina, who's having trouble turning around. The Vorse playing the positional game absolutely perfectly here. Denny also with the power shots. He wants Era with the Sunray. It's not enough focus damage. Era, another jump up. Two seconds until that power shot. Denny looked for the target, dive himself in. They got the vision, the power shot. He slices him in. And that is going to be the end of the battle as everyone is practically dead or moved onto side lanes. Yep, massively losing that engagement. I mean, there was just too many misplays, bad positioning, continue, and an Axe who doesn't have uh, a Blink Dagger. Win for a Vanguard build. Yep. So you can't expect to win engagements this time around. Loops down again. The Troll Trap will slow him down to start with the Nova. Well, that's going to burn out most of his HP, and with the, la with the last attack from Artstyle also helping out, it will be funny to get the kill. And this means tier 1 tower on bottom lane is forfeit. But the tier 1 tower in mid lane is pretty exposed. There is uh, Dendi rotating up. Which is the primary reason they've won so many fights, right? Because Nib uh, playing into Na'Vi's hands when they're being over aggressive like that, end up running into five heroes, so. Go for one more load.